Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day today. Just uh, heading back right now from Grand Lake. Uh, Johnny and I did a fish the moment challenge on Grand today. Uh, beautiful day out there, man. It was, uh, God, 70 degrees, low 70s, no wind, you know, just super, super light wind. Uh, partly cloudy, just a, a gorgeous fall day out there. A lot of leaves falling down. It's uh, one of those one of those days you really enjoy being out on the water but um you know pertinent i've been doing you know some videos this week on fall fish and i want to sort of continue with that because we're sort of right uh in the i guess we, we, we what you'd call the, the late fall period right now um mid to late fall depending upon what part of the country you're in and uh one of the you know, I've been trying to sort of break down some key elements, and one of the big keys I want to talk about today is the importance of shade in fall fishing, because I don't think that there's a, a more important time of year as far as shade goes, is when you're talking about when water temperatures are like that between that, you know, upper 50s to upper 60s, you know, which we have a lot during the fall time of the year. Um, shade is so critical that you know combination of shade and wind but but more shade than anything else and a lot of this is because you have a, a group of fish you know probably half the fish in the lake that this time of year and towards late fall these fish get super super shallow i'm talking about a lot of times they get just you know in 12 inches of water you know and they can do this in a lot of different water clarities. I mean, it, it can be dirty water, it can be clear water, either one, but there's still a lot of bass that, that move really, really shallow in the fall time of the year. A lot of them, what they do, um, you know, this is the time of year that the, the gizzard shad are really big, and there's a lot of, of algae and, and plankton on the bank rocks a lot of time, because what you have is a lot of times that, you know, the water's falling right now, and you can see a lot of the algae on the rocks. And when it does, you have a lot of shad up right on the bank, you know, you know, just feeding on algae and plankton. And of course the fish are up there after them too. <clears throat> so that's one of the reasons, you know, you have a group of fish that are shallow. But the big key to catching these bass in the fall time of the year is to target the shade specifically. Now, shade can be created in a lot of different ways. I mean, uh, based upon the angle of the bank that you're on, the position you are on the lake, you know, you're gonna have shade longer, you're gonna have more of a, an area of shade. And obviously, uh, you know, some type of a heavy cloud cover will create shade all of the lake, although it's not the same type of shade that is cast off, you know, from the sun being blocked by trees or a bank. So, one of the things that I'm looking for all the time in this shallow water fishing, you know, any, especially if I've got water visibility greater than two feet, is I'm looking for shade. I'm looking for shade lines. I'm looking for areas that, that uh, stay shady longer periods during the day. Ideally, the banks that I like to fish in the fall time of the year and the late fall this time of year are positioned on the lake to where, like, it... 10 30 or 11 o'clock you still have a little bit of shade and you've got a lot of shade you know from daylight up until 10 30 or 11 o'clock these are the type of banks these fish like to get on in the fall time of the year and a lot of them like to get on the shady banks on the main lake this is a one of the big keys you have a, a group of bass in almost every lake that you know go to the back of the creeks in the fall you know you hear about that all the time but you still have a population of fish that live on the main lake. These are the fish that have spent a lot of time during the summer either deep or suspended. And a, a percentage of those bass will move up on main lake banks once that water temperature starts to get down around 60 degrees. And they get really active and they feed super, super dependent upon the weather conditions you have. Clouds, wind, uh, shade, all that type of stuff works together as far as the uh, you know, getting those bass to be more active in that shallow water. The thing about it is you can't always count on uh, the sun or wind. I mean, those are things that, that are out of your control. But one of the things that's in your control is to find the shady banks because the shady banks will be shady every day. They'll be shadier on cloudy days and they'll still be, you know, shady on the sunny days. So 
the first thing I've done is I look at my GPS, look at my map, see how the lake's positioned, and I try to run the side of the lake on the main lake that's throwing off a lot of shade. shade. It can be bluff bank, it can be any type of blank bank, but that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay in that shade, run that shade as long as I possibly can. Um, these fish in the fall time of the year, when they are set up on a shady bank, it makes them feed better, it makes them more active, and it all, it's almost like you have a fake condition of wind clouds when you have shady banks in the fall time of the year. They, they, you, you can catch fish on the, the same type of techniques that you normally could only catch them on if it was windy or cloudy if you're running those shady banks. Um, another big thing, once you do locate these shady banks, a lot of it is dependent upon how you want to approach them angle-wise with your boat. The boat angle on the shade is totally dependent upon how that bank drops off, the, the, how sharp it drops off or how flat it is. But what you're going to find, for the most part, is any time you have water visibility that's over two foot, preferably even over three foot is ideal, you're going to have a lot of bass that are right on the bank, even down to three feet. And normally, these are, this is where your numbers are at. This is where there's a lot of like, uh, you know, keeper bass, you know, two pound class fish will use this type of water. Occasionally, you'll get a good one. But the bigger fish are always farther off the bank on those shady banks. They're usually uh, out over that five to 10 foot of, of uh, water depth, depending, you know, wherever that may be on the angle that you're fishing. But it's normally off the bank a little bit and they're still in the shade. That's when you catch your big ones, whether it be top waters, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, swim baits, whatever. The bigger fish will usually come um, out just a, a little deeper than where most of the bites are coming. Um, all the big bass I've caught in the fall time of the year have come like that. They're just, you know, just just a ways off the bank, halfway back between the boat and the bank. So position your boat as far as where you can hit both of those zones. Position it where you can, you know, effectively cover it parallel on a steeper section. If you're at a 45 degree angle bank, position it where you can, you know, cover, you know, again, that two to six foot zone. And that has a lot to do with the amount of strikes that you're going to get. Um, everything is dependent as far, as far as, you know, how long this bite lasts. You know, things like, again, wind and shade can make it last longer. Uh, sometimes you can even continue to catch banks that are fish on shady banks. Once that shade is almost gone, you know, if you have a lot of wind coming on that bank, that'll keep those fish up shallower as well. But, you know, once that sun hits it most of the time, you know, if you're catching fish shallow and once that sun hits the water, normally those fish are gone. They, I think they just pull out a little bit, you know, it's nothing for them to move 15 or 20 foot during the day's time, you know, pull up, feed at night, feed early in the morning, feed late in the evening, and uh, they're just in and out all the time. But anyway, the advice I want to give you, you know, fall time fishing, one of the biggest things to look for is shade. You know, spend some time studying it, spend some time running it, stay in it as long as you can, particularly on days that you don't have wind and clouds. And I promise you it's going to add up to a lot more fish for you this fall. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Um, got a busy weekend this weekend, got some guide trips, uh, working with fish at the moment quite a bit, just uh, getting ready for our Lake Louisville tournament, going to leave in about a week for that. Lots going on around here, so uh, we'll check in later. See you.